but I've been on site all day. It's been quite hot, so I've had my arm up for over an hour now. So that's what the mask is for, is it? Um, it's a couple of books. Do you mind if I stand? Um, yes, thank you for sharing the plan with us. Obviously, there have been previous ones. Um, there's two things. One's I'm concerned about the business plans, really. Um, I'm a business owner. Um, some of you might have heard of me. I, I took Federal Council to the High Court to be little Savannah with, um, where they were expanding Newgate Lane. Um, unfortunately, I lost to the High Court, but I subsequently won out of the court, um, where it was then pulled out of the development because they were actually passing my emails onto the council and they were doing other things which we found in the Data Protection Act, which was great. But only last week, as you're well aware, we were under threat for eviction for a long, long time due to that development. Now, we couldn't find anywhere to relocate. Um, so, for the last nine years, on my lease, I've had a three month eviction notice in it. So, we didn't know what was happening to us, and that's the same with the other businesses. Um, so, last week, because I saved, saved the estate, stopped it from development, and saved most of those businesses. But we have problems with the officers' reports, and you're probably aware, I'm not going to dive on yet to the public, but there was an LGO finding after three years against the council. I don't know if you're aware of it, they would have contacted the monitoring officer. No, but Kevin, can you focus on the local plan? You said you want to talk about Yes, what it is, I've just received my landlords now offering me a new lease. And they put them out by 85%. And they said the reason is it's due to market value. Now, the Royal Institute of Chart Surveyors, if someone with the LEP leaked it to, well, they leaked it to me, but passed the information to me. Over the last five years, there's been 30% shortage of business units in the UK. And they're saying it's at a crisis point, it's due to local authority, the central government needs to step in. Now, one of the businesses that was kicked out, because there were several kicked out, um, had to close down. That was an engineering firm, there's seven highly skilled engineers, they exported all around the world. We've now lost that business in the UK. It's gone, destroyed. We'll never get it back. Now, one of the other businesses was fortunate enough to find a unit, and it was in one of the feral council sites. His rent was put up, and the reason given due to a shortage of units. Now, at the planning meeting, at the planning office review, they put a report saying there was a 30% oversupply of units in the borough. Now we had Ian Power, who you probably know, said that was completely untrue, there was only 2.5% and, and that included shops. Now, the planning officer on us said we could all relocate to uh, Dateless. And you as aware, you was involved with it, you remember we represented the 55 businesses at Berry Farm. On that report they said they could go down to Dateless. You've got the worldwide development with all the businesses there. Again it says, they can go down to Dateless. Well, as you were aware, at the time when the plan was put through, Caroline Darnish held an emergency meeting to try and see what she could do to save the businesses. And I, she did inform me you were invited to the Ferrum Borough Council, was that correct? You weren't. And, you, and she said you refused to come and you named me as the reason for doing a deputation. So you denied that, do you? If that can reproduce any documents and evidence of how long damage. Do you have a question on the local plan? Yes, what I'm saying, we've got this local plan then, where we keep using Daedalus for businesses to relocate to. Now, with that means we have a Caroline Darnish, Fair and Borough uh, Gospel Council there, and they said the business can't relocate down there, because that development at the time, they'd all been sold off plan. So, what we've got is a business, a, a business plan here. It doesn't really exist. So I had to take that to court, and unfortunately, and this is what concerns me, there doesn't seem to be enough transparency. Because I had to make two subject access requests to try and find what happened in this case with Fair and Borough Council. And I addressed both of them to Peter Brimwood, and both times he legally withheld evidence and documents. So I had to go for the Information Commissioner's Office. Twice the council were found guilty of illegally withholding evidence. Kevin, I need to ask So you what concerns me, are we going to get... What are you looking to propose in the local plan? Are you thinking we're not allocating enough of a certain sort of employment floor space? Well, it seems to be smoke and mirrors, and the planning officer's reports don't seem to be... Well, I'm not talking about planning correct. extensions, I'm talking about... No, for development for businesses. So what we're doing is getting rid of business estates and not building enough. 
So when we hear about this job creation down at Douglas, there's not enough there anyway, but a vast majority of them, and from my estate, are businesses that are relocated down there. But, as you've seen, but then the units are being knocked down, as so you, it's, it's a movement and not a creation. As you will have seen in what Get the plan the gal puts forward, and if you take the trouble to look at the consultation documents, you will see that there's a significant amount of extra floor space being proposed at Davis and some other sites around the borough as well. So what I'd like you to do, if you would, is comment upon those in your response. Do you think they're in the right place? Do you think it should be a particular sort of employment? As Gail said, we're looking at distribution as one of the places where we're told we're under provided. It's the wrong support for small what? businesses. We're not encouraging small businesses. Okay, but I'm not trying to take a purist view here, but this is a local plan which is looking to allocate sites. I said in my very first slide with my opening remarks, the plans aren't just about housing, they're about employment, which is critical as well. So if you want to put forward through the consultation proposals for additional employment sites, some of that, or saying, you know, what you're proposing for this site isn't right, it should be this sort of warehousing, workshops, whatever you think it should be, please do that as oh, part I'll of the consultation. Unfortunately, there's, there's prejudice. It seems to be prejudice against anybody who actually, in business, who wants to raise this. And I ask you, did you, did you do that with Caroline Dynage? You're raising it here. So did you do that with Caroline Dynage? Did I say, do with Caroline Dynage? Did you tell her that you would have come to that meeting no. with anyone from Ferrum Borough Council? No, I So Caroline Dynage produces an email from you to her stating that. What action will you take? Stating that I was stopping anyone from Fairham Council attending a meeting in Caroline Dynage. And yourself, and you name due to Kevin Arrowsmith's deputation at the planning meeting. I really can't remember if you want to send it to me. You just denied you did it. Did you or did you not? Because what that is, that show we've got a business plan. We have got home investigation. Can we stick to the local plan, please? Thank you. Contribution now, thank you, Kevin. And I'm going to draw the meeting now to a close because we did say we would end.